Hey, what's up? I've had several people asking how exactly I set up the Digitech RP350 to record and playback over USB. So this is going to show you step by step what you need to do in order to uh, have the pedal send and receive info over USB. The first step, obviously, is to connect the cable in the back. And once you have that, you're going to need to install the drivers, preferably off of Digitech's website. That's just digitech.com. Uh, obviously, those will be a little bit more up to date than what you get on the CD, or you might not have the CD. And obviously, I already have them installed, but this is where you go to download them. And once you have that set up, the second step would be to run your uh, audio editing software, which I believe comes, uh, Cubebase is what's included. I prefer to use Adobe Audition just because it's a little bit more full-featured audio editor, in my opinion. Uh, once, once you have your driver installed, it's as simple as changing the settings in your program. And with Adobe Audition, that's just edit. Audio hardware setup. And make sure that the RP350 ASIO, which stands for Audio Stream Input Output, is selected. And you'll see that your input and output are both USB, which means you'll be recording from your guitar or whatever you have going into your pedal and playing back to the amp or whatever you have as your output. So this also comes in handy as far as playing back something, either a YouTube video or other audio to your amp. And you can record straight to the computer from your guitar without having the amp turned on. So if you wanted to play silently or maybe with headphones, you'll see here, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and hit record and have that going. And my amp is not turned on but I just strum a few strings on the guitar and you can see that shows up right there. And if I wanted to, I would just stop and then hit playback and that would play back directly to my amp. So it's as simple as that. Hopefully that clears up any questions. See you later. Bye.